Good morning everyone. It is snowing outside. A little bit of a surprise, woke up and... Snow everywhere. Hey Kenworth for life. If my uh, truck gets fixed in time, we want to head out tomorrow at noon. And with this kind of snow, I might want to head out tomorrow morning. It, like, wake up and go right away because... That might be slippery out there. Uh, it's going to be an interesting day. No, my truck's not broken. Definitely not broken. It's just getting fixed. Uh, the rear diff locker, it's been... It hasn't worked since I got the truck. They're going to finally fix that. And uh, the clearance lights on that A trailer, the first trailer weren't working so they're gonna fix that as well so <clears throat> I've been running for three weeks with no clearance lights on the first trailer and then four months with that diff locker not working so I guess there's parts of it broken you have a point alright I'm gonna make this webcam here smaller yeah, I'll turn it off for now and we'll get to the game all right, so we were plowing. There we go. We're gonna do a bunch of plowing. It gets boring doing plowing, so we'll do some weeding as well. Collecting straw, you know, just random little jobs. Yeah, I'm not sure why the rear diff locker's broken. I I have a feeling that uh, whoops <coughs> happens when I get distracted. I have a feeling that the guy driving the truck before me probably panicked and uh, hit the diff locker while the tires were spinning and blew it should never turn those on while the tires are spinning kind of breaks gears and solenoids in there hey VRF you say I'm early no I'm just finally on time oh there goes a snow plow it's good at least the plows are out I'm finally just not late. Once around, uh, around and around and around. I'm 30 minutes early. Yeah, I try to start at. It's weird that there's one weed there. I always tried to tried to start at 8, but recently I've been trying to get, at least get on the computer by by 9 a.m. But I guess it depends on how late I get home on Friday. Then of course the days I don't get home on Friday and I come home on Saturday, I'm really late. Yeah, you guys are going to enjoy the video two weeks from now. Last two days were quite eventful. It's been snowing up on the passes. It's been snowing a lot on the passes.
So on Thursday, everything went really smooth till, smooth till Thursday. I had to chain up three times. Oh, there's virtual reality farmer. Reminder to anyone watching, this is a multiplayer game and open for everyone. Just read the instructions down below. All the details are there. So I spun out going up the Bombay, coming out of Castle Gar, going to Salmo. Kind of surprised me. It's like, oh no, spun out in the middle of the highway, so quickly threw chains on. <clears throat> Getting pretty efficient at that now. And I was almost to the top, so I only had to put chains on for like a minute or two. Took those off. And then, uh, as soon as I got to uh, Kootenai Pass, the very first, there's two chain out, chain up pullouts for the Kootenai Pass. The very first one, I just pulled over and chained up. I'm like, if I chained up on the Bombay, it's a smaller, smaller pass. I'm gonna chain up for Kootenai Pass. <clears throat> so by the time I got to the second chain up, the lights were flashing and it was mandatory chain up anyway. Hey Austin. So, no harm in chaining up. And that hill is so steep, you're going at 30, 20, between 20 and 30 kilometers an hour anyway. So, what is that, like 15 miles? So, having the chains on did me no harm. Putting them on early actually probably saved me pain climbing that. And then I got to uh, awesome VRF. You're gonna keep harvesting. Now, like I said in the description, there is lots to do on this map. There's plowing, collecting straw, weeding, uh, harvesting, and then as soon as harvesting is done, seeding. Oh, actually, that field needs to be plowed too. So more plowing, uh, taking care of the animals. Oh uh, yeah, Austin, we're playing on PC. So when I got to um, Creston, where my drop was, I parked behind the Ramada Hotel in this big parking area that wasn't plowed. And I got stuck. Absolutely, Austin. Every, like I just said, everybody can play. Read the directions down below and join on in. This map is a little complicated. A little more complicated to join than just just logging in and playing. You do have to change map name. But that's all described them below. So when I parked at that parking lot, spun the tires, got stuck, Putting chains on when you're stuck is very difficult, but it's doable. I got all four chains on, and guess what? I'm still stuck. I spent two hours, and I was still stuck. Now I was more stuck. I had, because the diff locks weren't locking, no, they will be now, after this weekend, so maybe that'll prevent me from getting stuck. It dug these huge holes, so I buried it right down to the axle. So after two hours I gave up because it stopped rocking. Once the truck stopped rocking back and forth and the wheels were just spinning, I'm like, nope, we're done. There's no point of keeping on trying. Called dispatch, went to bed, and told them have a tow truck there at 7 in the morning. Tow truck company showed up with a 5 ton tow truck. I'm like, are you serious? How stuck do you think I am? He kind of looks and goes, I'll be back in 20 minutes with the other truck. I'm like, yep, I thought so. So they had to bring, bring the big, uh, duly the big, the big rig tow truck and then pull me out.
So, yeah, entertaining. And then yesterday I had to chain up once over uh, Kootenai Pass. I was running empty. Um, but it was mandatory chain up, so. Chained up over Kootenai Pass. All went well after that. It's definitely, definitely uh, <laughs> interesting two days. Gotta say thank you, VRF. Pretty darn good at uh, staying on top of the chat. I hear someone shoveling snow outside. That's good. Need to keep those sidewalks clear. Now this town's actually pretty good at keeping sidewalks clear. Um, they give out notices to anyone that doesn't have their sidewalk cleared. That if they don't clear it, they'll clear it for them and then send them the bill. Your comment mine keeps going off track when you look at chat. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. Sounds good, Austin. You can be whoever you want to be in game. Except someone else. Be yourself. Yeah, someone invited me to join them in a game. I popped in just for a few seconds when I realized their name was Daggerwin. I'm like, nope, I'm out. And not into that taking false credit for someone that you're not. Austin that's not my problem that's your problem everybody else can join and I most definitely cannot play on your world I get asked that and it kind of annoys me sometimes <clears throat> make sure your game is up to date read all the directions make sure you're playing the latest version of Farming Simulator. If you're not on Steam, mine automatically updates. And read directions. And uh, you should be able to find my name. And then you might not be able to join if you find my name because you haven't read all the directions. Oh, I'm getting tea? That is awesome! Hi, oh, you're on Steam, so you should have the latest version of the game. Oh yeah, get a back rub and tea? Man, I'm spoiled. That's a really good point, Virtual Reality Farmer. If, if someone's having problems, they want to share screenshots and see what the problem is. I could always start up Discord and let you guys do it in there. <coughs> I 
All right, see you, Austin. So that's something. Uh, something. It's a. It's. I think it's a millennial. Some. I shouldn't put all millennials in this, but some millennial. Some millennial problem. Where when not everything goes your way, they quit and bail out. So. People uh, give up too soon. We have to learn how to fail and then work the problem and not just go, I can't do this, I give up. Yeah, I guess it's the the young kids that are having those problems aren't even millennials. I don't know what they're going to be classified as. <clears throat> what is that new generation? Maybe I'll call them little annoying babies until we get a real name. It is annoying. It is thoroughly annoying. But I'm not here to babysit. I am here to play a game that I enjoy. If you can't figure out how to join it, that is your problem and not mine. And that's okay. If I lose a subscriber here and there because I'll be honest, I'm okay with that either. We'll keep the subscribers that don't mind me being honest. corner to get to. Uh, just like you when you started learning on GE. What is GE? Oh, Giant's Editor. Giant Editor. Yes. <coughs> um, editing. It's editing maps it's it's hard don't give up keep trying and keep working on it and eventually you start learning all these things and eventually you get good at it yeah farmer joe knew right away what you meant by ge because she plays in there every now and then editing a few maps here and there but yeah it's 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 a hard program to learn don't if you want to do it don't give up and just go and do it something goes wrong and you rage quit. And there's nothing wrong with rage quitting but come back. <laughs> Take a break from it. Um, I'm gonna jump in a weeder. Is there a tractor out here? There's no tractor out here. There's a trailer here. So... Grab this tractor. Where's our weeder? Where's our weeder? Oh boy.
right in front of me. Okay. <laughs> Behind there. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I was looking at the right place. field that virtual reality farmer is uh, harvesting needs to be plowed before we can seed that so yeah it's gonna be a busy lots to do Is this grass in its first stage of growth already? Good thing I started weeding. Yeah, uh, VRF, that'd be awesome if you sent me Gnon to take a look at it. I'm sure you've done uh, lots of work to it. Last time I saw it, it's maybe a quarter of the way. You finished the whole top half, I remember that now. Have you added that uh, river through there yet? I imagine that's going to be difficult. It's going to be one epic map once we have that going. I'll see. Oh yeah, this is that steep hill. When we started this, wasn't this a crop field? I think so. I think we seeded uh, grass on this. That big field right beside the main farm. And the river that goes through the field looks epic. Awesome. That's only one field you've done harvesting. There's more fields to be harvested. <laughs> Just don't seed that field. We want to plow that one first. doesn't allow missions. That's okay. I'm fine with that. 
The only game that I've done missions on is the Northern Alberta map. I've never done missions in Coldbrook Park Farm or Sandy Bay. Well, so you can't do missions just on that one field. Weird. Oh, because the field goes through the river, it uh, screws up the mission. Yeah, I see what you mean. You can't uh, get to the other side of the... without saying you've left the field. It's too far to drive around. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. That's okay if we can't do missions on it. <laughs> uh, are there any other fields that have the same crop that's ready for harvest? So you're harvested field 9, so that's canola. Uh, 8 and 22 are ready. Nope, 8 and 22 are both uh, soybeans, so nope. Nope, not that lucky. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, sorry, you guys can't see what Farmer Joe's showing me. There's two Chinese restaurants next to each other. Uh, uh, field 17 is not ready yet. It's almost ready, but not quite yet. You could bring the combine there and just wait for it to get ready and then grab a different combine for the other fields. I don't mind that. But Farmer Joe's showing me a picture of uh, two Chinese restaurants next to each other. And one is called Excellent Restaurant. And it is, doesn't say Chinese restaurant. It just says Excellent Restaurant. It's got Chinese food on there. It's got posters and Chinese and stuff. And the, next, the place next to it is called OK Restaurant. And it's also a Chinese restaurant. I have a feeling the OK Restaurant is probably there first. And a new restaurant went next door. <laughs> it just goes, we have excellent. They only have okay. Uh, literally, in the same building next to each other. Kind of funny. Well guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that thumbs up. If you want me to be brutally honest with people joining us, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> um, as always, join us live and we keep streaming after the episode ends. Get a lot more farming in. 
Awesome. Going to field 22. That's right next to the cattle farm. So we will see you guys. I hope tonight on Sandy Bay or Northern Alberta. I might just do a quick uh, single player Northern Alberta tonight and then do Sandy Bay tomorrow morning. Yeah, that sounds good. If the weather goes really, really bad, I might not do any stream in the morning tomorrow because I'm just going to hit the road. But we'll make that judgment call. So if all of a sudden I'm not on tomorrow morning, that's what happened. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.